That's very much a key question tonight. Has the president made his case? Can he count on support uh, from Congress? Joining us now, Representative Adam Schiff, Democrat from California. He serves on the Intelligence Committee. And Representative Marsha Blackburn, Republican from Tennessee. She's the vice chair of the Energy and Commerce Committee. Uh, Congressman, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, well, Marsha Blackburn, first to you. Did the president make his case effectively? Well, I think the president laid out the beginnings of a plan and a strategy. I did think that what we're missing in this, he didn't speak to our allies and he didn't find, define the coalition. Those are things that I know my constituents with Fort Campbell, a major military post in my district, that is something that they're wanting to hear and what they want to know. What about that, uh, Congressman Schiff? Well, I view this really as the opening statement, not the closing argument. And I think in the weeks to come, the president will have to set out, okay, what are the coalition partners going to do? What are regional allies going to do? Uh, the the uh, Saudi willingness to host this force, I think, is very significant. Uh, most of what the Gulf states are willing to do has been only covert. Uh, the fact that they would so openly take on ISIS this way uh, may be quite a significant shift for the Saudis. Uh, and if we can get everyone on the same page in terms of who they would be behind, that also would be a significant shift. Earlier in the conflict, I think the, the Saudis, the Qataris, the Kuwaitis, uh, the Turks, they were willing to throw money and arms at anyone who would fight Assad, uh, and that has helped to create this problem. Uh, there may be a convergence now on who we ought to get behind. Congresswoman Blackburn, are you with the president when he says he does not need additional congressional authorization to launch airstrikes against ISIS targets in Syria? Well, I would prefer that he come to Congress and that we give that authorization. I think that looking at what he laid out tonight as being the beginnings of his strategy, he talked about following what we've done in Somalia and Yemen and where we have seen al-Qaeda really grow and what is still the strongest of the al-Qaeda affiliates, they're in Yemen and they are exporting terrorism. I, that causes me a little bit of concern. I know it's causing my constituents concern. What we would rather him see, see him do is be more aggressive and more forthright and go at this full force, not go at it halfway. To both of you, first to you, Congressman Schiff, will you vote for the $500 million the president is seeking to arm what's called those moderate Syrian opposition rebels? Well, I have been, as you probably know, very skeptical about arming the rebels, both because they have not proven to be a cohesive force and they have not proven to be very moderate either. Uh, the game changer for me may be this Saudi willingness to be the host country uh, and if we can get all of the Gulf nations behind the same group of, uh, of forces. Uh, that may be enough to push me over the edge, but I, I still think uh, in the amount of time it will take to train these forces and the small numbers that we're talking about, there are likely to be just as many foreign fighters who come into the country over the next three years as will be trained up uh, even with a half a billion dollar investment. So I think we need to be very uh, realistic about any expectations for this force. Uh, will you vote for that, Congresswoman, will you vote for that $500 million appropriation? At, at this point in time, the president has all of the money that he needs. The levels at the uh, continuing resolution 2014 level are above what the president's initial request had been. So for right now, he's got the money that he needs. And as you talk about additional funds, what we need to look at is the sequester that is affecting the military funding and work through that process. I don't think this is going to be something that is done uh, quickly or in haste by Congress. I think you're going to see a very thoughtful approach to this. We have to defeat ISIS. We have to make certain that we destroy them and that we push them back there where they are in the Middle East. I want to know more about the coalition. I want to hear the president speak to our allies and to that coalition. Sounds like neither one of you yet ready to vote for that $500 million appropriations request the president is putting forward, but we'll see what happens down the road. Marshall Blackburn, uh, Adam Schiff, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, let's bring in CNN's Dana Bashi.